Both. Our only choice is to save her life right now. I don't care about football. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love All-American, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about All-American Season 3, Episode 9. This is the recap for Episode 9. Now, I'm going to try my best to focus on the key points in this episode. If I miss anything, you guys let me know. And the main focus in this recap will be, of course, on Spencer, Olivia, and what's going on within that storyline. And I also will be talking about the other storylines that I thought was important in this episode. You guys let me know, man. What do you think about episode nine? Testify. Of course, a lot of secrets came out, and you already know it's about to build up for a great episode 10. And that's when Jordan is going to go through some things. But in this episode, once again, Spencer and Olivia just cannot have a good life. Something always has to go wrong with the two. It can just never be good. So we begin to recap off with, you know, the aftermath of what happened in episode eight. And of course, Olivia and Spencer are being pulled over. We know that, you know, Olivia has crashed because she is drunk. And now she wants Spencer to take the fall for her. And Spencer is hesitant. He's thinking about it. And he's about to do it. But luckily, Olivia's mom you know, Laura, since she's a DA, it saved them. When they ran her name, they ran the, you know, the information, they found out that that was her car. So they kind of just dropped it. This officer could have really investigated this if he wanted to, but he let it go thanks to her mother. Now, Olivia is saying, look, I'm good. I only have one drink. You have nothing to worry about. I'm going to tell my sponsor. I will tell her about this. We will fix this. It's no big issue. Um, I'm addicted to, I was addicted to pills. She's pretty much in denial. Now, Spencer, he's looking at her like, okay, you know, I agree. All right. We're going to see what you're talking about. But eventually we know that he finds out that she was lying to him, right? Now, Coop in this episode is struggling because she's trying to prove to her mom that this music thing is the best and that dropping out is the best option for her, which in reality, Coop needs to stay in school. She needs to focus on that education. She's almost done. She might as well finish, in my opinion. Now, as I told you, Spencer does find out that Olivia was lying. He put two and two together. He saw her pour out that drink in that, you know, water bottle. He understood that she's been drinking the whole summer and he calls her out on it. And she's trying to give all these different excuses about her not really having an issue. Don't tell her parents because they're going to send her off to rehab. Spencer does not want to hear that. He tells her she has until the end of the night. Or he will tell her parents himself. I told you guys, Spencer's not the one to keep secrets, especially something that serious. He's just not about to do it. Now we get to Denise and her daughter, um, Nana, and she's an excellent kicker. Billy Baker wants to use her for the team. And of course, Denise is real hesitant at first, but we know later on she will accept this and allow her daughter to kick for Crenshaw, which they need. They need that chemistry. They need a good kicker in order for them to continue to go on a good path to make it to state, right? Now, also in the episode, Jordan and Simone, they were going to confess. They was going to testify, all right? They were going to tell them the truth about them getting married, but things got shook up at dinner because Olivia's secret came out. So once that happened, they kind of just forgot about what they was going to say. It wasn't no use to even talking about that. Now, Olivia, she was trying to sugarcoat the truth, right? We know this. She was just saying she had a drink. That was it. She's talking to her sponsor. Nothing to worry about. She is good, right? Laura is like, is that all? Something's not right. She asked Spencer, like, is this something else? Because the way you looking, it's like something else happened. And Spencer just tells the truth. He's like, she's been drinking the whole summer, flat out. And Olivia is pissed off. She does not like what he did. Um, and I don't care. Spencer did the right thing. This girl cannot continue to be out here drinking, messing up her life. I mean, what do you want him to do? Um, allow her to continue to think that everything is cool, that she's going to do this by herself. It's just not happening. Olivia needs all the help that she can get from her family, her friends, everybody. But her being in denial in this episode was really, it was really costing her, right? We saw that in this episode. And of course, she's very pissed off, especially at Spencer. She thinks he did the wrong thing. He could have did it in a different way. At the end of the day, he did this to protect you. Um, and that's just how I felt about it. Now, Coop believes that by her going and talking to Spencer's mother, that maybe she can talk to her mom about, you know, 
doing this whole music thing, dropping out is the right option. And she's not having that. She's like, no, I'm not going to tell your mom that. Um, she fought hard for what she she did in school and stuff like that. You need to finish your education. That is very important. So Coop, she has to make a decision. And that decision is, you know, of course, she's going to just try to get her GED. But that education is very important to Coop. As I said, she might as well get it now while she's in school. Now, Olivia is pretty much on a downfall, y'all. Y'all know this. Y'all saw the episode. She's trying to go and, you know, really get help for real. She's trying to reach her her sponsor, which, who is not responding to her. She's trying to squash any type of beef she has with Layla. She gives her her pen back. Layla is pretty much brushing her off. She does not want to hear anything uh, Olivia has to say at all and pretty much just leaves. Um, but she really needed Layla at this moment. Olivia is about to flip. As you can see, the bottle in her locker, which is full of alcohol, which she throws away at this particular moment. Um, she's going to end up going back and grab that later on in the episode, but she cannot reach her sponsor at all. And I was thinking like, man, her sponsor probably end up dying or something. Somebody, something's just not right with that, right? Um, we get to Billy Baker and he's upset at Spencer. He's telling him, this is your fault. How come you didn't tell me this and that about my daughter? You know how serious this is. And Spencer had the checking. Spencer had to tell him, look, I just found out last night. I just found out she was lying or whatever, um, which she was. And then, of course, Coach Baker kind of calmed down and said, you know what? You right. I need to just chill out. I'm just upset. Um, I got to figure out a way to help out my daughter. And she just may have to go back to rehab. And of course, Spencer is feeling all bad about what he did now, because this is what Olivia told him, that if he tells the parents, they're going to make her go away. Now, Jordan figures out that his keys is missing. That's because your girl, Olivia, had took those keys and she has ran away to go and do what she wants to do. Now, she needs to meet up with her sponsor to, of course, get that help and support she thinks she needs. Now, Spencer has, I will say, the realest conversation with his mom in a while. She lets him know what he did was completely stupid. Even thinking about covering for Olivia does not make sense as a black man. Um, you're going to mess your life up trying to protect this girl. You need to start worrying about yourself. Protect yourself. Do what you got to do for you. Stop trying to always do things for Olivia and others before you mess your life up. And you already know Spencer felt some type of way about it. But his mom was telling the truth. Like, dude, you need to calm down. Olivia needs to do things for her own self um, and you cannot allow her to tarnish you and mess your life up. As you can see, she is struggling. She cannot get any, um, you know, calls back from her sponsor. Spencer is trying to hit her up. She is ignoring his calls, her family's calls. Everybody's looking for Olivia. They do not know where she's at. And she does have a conversation with Jordan and tells him she is good. Don't worry about it. Now, Spencer has another conversation with his therapist, right? And this therapist is pretty much telling him the same thing his mom is telling him. Look, you need to worry about yourself. You need to stop doing the things that you are doing before you end up hurting yourself. I mean, how can you help other people out and you ain't even helping out yourself? And Spencer, you know, he doesn't really want to do this, but he has to. He has to look out for himself. He has to allow Olivia to handle this. He has to allow Olivia and her family to be the ones to support her. Um, cause if he doesn't, he will be screwed up in my opinion. Now, as I told you guys, Olivia went back and got that drink. She got it out the trash can that goes to show you her mental state and how serious this addiction is. She keeps talking about she's good on alcohol. It's nothing. She's addicted to pills. She has nothing to worry about, but that's not true. She's in denial and she has to hold herself accountable for her actions. She goes and she finally, finally is able to get you know, a connection with her sponsor, which she was locked up the whole time. And she allows Olivia to know that she screwed up with her family and that the last thing that you need to be doing is messing up things with your family. The people that are there for you, you have an opportunity to fix your problem. So fix it right now. Do not end up in here. Do not mess your life up. Right. And Olivia is starting to put everything together. She's like, you know what? You're right. I need to go back home. I need to get help before I end up messing up my life. Now, Denise, she was running her mouth a whole lot in this scene, talking about her daughter and this and that. Coach Baker had to let her know. I thought he was going to go off on her, but he didn't. He's like, look, I have to find my daughter. She is missing. 
the niece gives him some good advice about just telling Olivia she is welcomed home. Do not be all aggressive and, you know, make it seem like she's in trouble. Just tell her, come home. You know, I'm here for you. We are here to support you. And, you know, she will come back eventually. But that is something that you have to do. You have to have a different approach. So that's exactly what Billy Baker does. He uses her advice. Now, of course, Layla feels bad because she knows that Olivia is missing. And she's like, man, she tried to, you know, talk to me earlier and I blew her off. Coop is telling her, look, y'all good. Y'all going to squash all that beef stuff. Y'all going to be cool at the end of the day. Y'all homegirls. But as of right now, Layla is not feeling the best. And, you know, eventually I think Coop is right. They will squash everything and it will bring them closer together. Now, Olivia finally listens to the message that her father left her, that she can come home. They're here to support and help her. And, of course, she breaks down. But she does say, you know what? I need to go home. I need to get that help. And if I have to go to rehab... That is something that I am willing to do to help myself and make sure that I am good and I can be here for my family. And she goes to Spencer to try to get his support. And she wants to, of course, use him and have him to be there with her. But Spencer's like, look, I can't be there right now. I have to worry about myself. Um, what I did earlier or last night was a, a high risk. I could have messed my whole life up trying to protect you. And that is something that I could not do. And of course, Olivia was pissed off. She's upset at Spencer. As I said, guys, these two can not have a, a good episode, a good couple episodes. It's always something that can never just be good, right? Now, Olivia, she said, you know what? I'm going to go and get that support from my family. Spencer cannot be here for me right now. And that's exactly what she does. She goes to her family. They welcome her and they want to be there for Olivia. They want to help her out. This is a tough topic. And this is something that people go through in everyday life. It is something that is serious, in my opinion. Now, Spencer, of course, is very hurt that he had to do what he had to do. But, of course, his mom is there to support him. He needs to be focusing more on himself and his issues. And hopefully, that's what he does. But be no Spencer. It ain't probably, it's probably not going to last long. He's probably going to start digging and, and trying to get in everybody else's mess and help them out. That's what he does, right? Now, Olivia, she's thinking that she's going to be going to rehab. But her family says, look, we're going to do a different approach this time. We're going to do like an outpatient type thing. We're going to be more involved with your treatment because we believe we need to be there at these meetings. We need to be there to understand what you're going through. And maybe we can come up with a solution to fix these issues. So, of course, Olivia has that support from her family. And hopefully they can fix her problems. And I think they will, man. It's going to take some time. Um, hopefully things can start to go back to normal. We know that's not the case because we know in that next episode, it's Jordan's turn. His issues and the things that he's going through will be exposed in this next episode. And it's sad, man, because it's like, man, we can't even focus on football. We can't focus on the things that are fun for these kids, school, you know what I'm saying, football, sports, but we're focusing on all these issues because they're going through it. And hopefully in this next episode, Jordan does pull through. As I told you guys, his future is in jeopardy. We shall see how it all unfolds. But as a, for episode nine, it was a solid episode. I felt bad for Olivia and Spencer and what they went through. Um, we're going to see what's going to happen um, in the next few episodes. But you guys let me know, man. What do you think about the episode? I just focused on them. I know it was some things about Asher, him playing defense. I didn't really talk about that. But, of course, he is pissed off. We know in the next episode he will be confronted by JJ. And we're going to talk more about that in some upcoming videos. But thank you guys for all the support, all the love. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Make sure you checked out my episode 10 what to expect video as well is already up so check it out follow the playlist and keep yourself updated but let me go out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace